Hi guys, you are watching this video to learn more about titration endpoint. So first of all, add 2 to 3 drops of indicator solution to the conical flask that you have prepared. Next, swirl the flask well. Then slowly open the stop cock with one hand. The other hand stands by to swirl the flask. You see, you have to really slowly and carefully maneuver the stop cock. So there's this fast addition at the beginning. And you see a localized color change. It gets a bit pink for a moment. And continue to swirl the flask with the other hand. Do it non-stop. Then you see the color fades quickly at first. But this is a deception, so the color will fade more slowly along the progress. You have to be patient. At this moment of time, close the stop cock. As you are reaching the end point, add aqueous sodium hydroxide drop by drop. Now collect the hang drop by touching the burette tip to the flask wall. Doop. It's in! Rinse down the hang drop with deionized water. Just flush it down and swirl the conical flask as you do it. Now add the titrant repeatedly drop wise. So you see it two times fast forward. Now we are really getting close to the end point. And the pink color will disappear after swirling. Now we begin to collect by partial drops, bit by bit. The pink color will disappear after a few seconds. Now carefully release another partial drop. This time, the pale pink color stays for 10 seconds. And that's it! This is your endpoint. Once again, take a close look at the color at the endpoint. Remember the color. On the left conical flask, you see the effect of spamming, overkill, it's just too much space added, you know, you get a dark pink. Make no mistake, just a single full drop may overshoot the endpoint. This color is too dark for the endpoint, really, too much. And finally, you see a comparison of the color intensity, you need to achieve the middle one, just a tinge of pink. I'm Funman, and it has been a great pleasure getting you throughout this video. See ya!